The ability to create, track, and measure goals with different timelines is a rich new capability in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 business management software that gives employees direct insight into their impact on the organization. Goal management also provides a way for executives and managers to review team and individual goals. Let's take a closer look at some of the new goal management capabilities in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. This is the goal page for our company's Q3 quota. One of the key metrics for this goal is revenue. Let's look at what revenue includes. In this case, the revenue goal contains two roll-up fields, actual revenue and in-progress revenue. When I click on the first of the two roll-up fields, notice that the CRM ribbon changes. It now displays list tool commands specific to roll-up fields. Let's hit edit and see how in-progress revenue is calculated. The details of the roll-up field criteria are now displayed. For example, we can see that in-progress revenue is calculated from open opportunities that have been assigned an in-progress status. Next. Let's take a look at the pool of data included in the actual component of the revenue rollup. Here are the details for actual revenue. For example, we can see that actual revenue only includes revenue from opportunities that have been classified as 1. Next, let's review the timing we've established for our Q3 quota goal. Here we have the ability to measure revenue by a fiscal period or a custom period we can define. In this case, fiscal period has been selected. Because fiscal year is selected, a selection of fiscal quarters and fiscal years appears in each of the drop-down menus. All we need to do is select the quarter and the year we want to measure for our goal. Now, let's review the queries that have been defined to pull the data we're measuring for our goal. On the left, we see the query for actual revenue. On the right, we see the query for in-progress revenue. To run these queries, we can use the Advanced Find feature. Here we can see how the query was defined using the Advanced Find feature. This query pulls actual revenue values from opportunities owned by Michael Graff, where the status is set to 1. Let's view the report to see this data. Here we can see that there is one opportunity that is returned by the query. In Q3, Michael Graff booked actual revenue of over $180,000 on an order for 76 bikes. Now let's look at the query for in-progress revenue. In this case, we can see the query is pulling the estimated revenue value for opportunities owned by Michael Graff. Let's see the report. On the report, we see 14 in-progress opportunities generated by this query. The report also includes customer, revenue, and status codes for each individual opportunity. This information is also available to Michael's manager, Kevin Kennedy, to improve collaboration and accountability. Now that we've established and verified the queries and reports for our Q3 goals, Let's compare the data visually using an inline chart. With just a few clicks, we see a graphical visualization that compares Q3 revenues by type against our target. As we've seen in this demo, Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 goal management features make it easy to create, track, and measure goals with different timelines. The ability to quickly create on-demand charts and more gives employees direct insight into their impact on the business. Thanks for watching.